Judge Robert Yonker told this jury of six women, six men to keep talking. He's ordered them lunch, keep an open mind without influencing them one way or the other. So they are working in their closed jury room behind closed doors up on the sixth floor of this courthouse. Jury has 10 charges to decide. This is day five of their del deliberations. And finally, some indication where they stand. The jury's apparently made some progress, so that's good. And we'll see the judges encourage them to seek unan unanimity and uh, their verdict. Um, so we're just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. All four men on trial, Adam Fox, Barry Croft, Brandon Caserta, Daniel Harris, are charged with kidnapping conspiracy up to life if convicted. Fox, Croft, and Harris are also charged with use of weapons of mass destruction. Croft and Harris charged with possession of an unregistered destructive device, a bomb. Harris from Lake Orion also charged with possession of an unregistered short-barreled rifle. This has been a lot for the jury to sort out after 14 days of testimony and 34 witnesses. Is this a verdict for the defense if they're Who deadlocked? Knows? I don't know. The government hasn't proven its case well, on all 10 counts. Well, you know, that's that's my position, but the jury is the one that's going to decide whether the government's made its burden or not, not I, and, and certainly, uh, we don't have our fortune teller on retainer right now, so we're not sure what's going on with the jury, but we'll find out soon enough. So the jury is still working through lunch and will give the judge an update at some point this afternoon if they say they are still deadlocked. Here's where we stand. The judge has a couple of options. He can take the verdicts that have been reached and then call it over, especially if they say they're hopelessly deadlocked, or if they say we're just deadlocked, he could say, continue to talk it over. He could even possibly send him home over the weekend and say, come back on Monday. But as one other defense attorney told me, it's been five days, not one. So if they say they're deadlocked, that might be it for today. And on those charges that they have not reached a verdict, that would be a mistrial and up to the government to decide what to do with those unresolved charges. A lot to happen here this afternoon. We will have it covered for you. Live in Grand Rapids, Jim Kurtzner. 7 Action News. Jim, we know you'll be staying on top of it. Thank you for that live report.